Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about cloning of Azure Data Factory or copying entire data factory into a new data factory. So why we require cloning? Cloning or copy. First reason could be that we want the data factory region to be changed. So let's say our existing data factory is in East US and we want now it to be changed to some other region, not East US. Then the second could be that the data factory name is let's say test ADF and we want it to be changed to now dev ADF. So for data factory name change name change third could be let's say we have to do some testing or debugging okay for debugging we can create a new data factory and perform the debugging of the specific pipelines there so that it will bear us less cost because every pipeline run will bear us cost and creation of a new data factory won't bear extra cost so debugging by creating a Sandbox environment. Sandbox environment. For debugging, we can create a clone sandbox environment, clone data factory, and in which we are going to perform the testing or the debugging. So the first purpose could be region change, then name change, or for debugging purpose. So these could be the three different requirements for cloning data factory. Now let's go to the Azure portal and see the existing data factory that is the source data factory and the target. In order to perform the cloning of data factory, important prerequisite is to have a target data factory already in place. Okay, with the target data factory name and region which we want. If you want the name change, then that name data factory should exist in the portal. If we want the region to be changed, then that region data factory should be present and then with the help of resource manager template we are going to accomplish this cloning we'll see this in the portal shortly so let's go to the data factory and see the source data factory and the target so here we are in the data factory adf cloud knowledge and we are inside the author tab which has few pipelines you can see here 59 pipelines some data sets data flows okay this is the data factory which will be treated as source in our video and then we'll create a new data factory with let's say a different region and a name so that we can fulfill the criteria of cloning it let's go to the data factory page here this is the main page of the data factory in the overview section we are of the source data factory and could see that the location or the region is east us the name is ADF Cloud Knowledge. So we'll create a new data factory, which will have a different location and name. So let's go to home, create a resource and select or search data factory in the marketplace. We'll click on create on the data factory button on the data factory icon and here comes the settings in the basics tab we'll let the subscription be selected and resource group details here we have to give a new name to the data factory the source name was adf cloud knowledge this time we want it to be adf ck if the name exists it's fine yeah the region was east us this time we want it to be east us2 the name is already taken we'll select something else ck Maybe test. It's already taken. CK. Let's make it to test and clone. Test clone. Then we have here version. So this name exists. Version will be V2. <coughs> we have changed the region from East US to East US2. We'll click on next. Configure the git later. Yeah, this is just for demo purpose. Let the network be public endpoint. Click on next. 
We need not make any change in the advanced tab and the tax tab. We'll go on review and create tab for the validation. And the validation completed, we'll click on create. Deployment is in progress. We'll wait for it to complete so that our prerequisite for cloning of data factory to have a target data factory ready will be completed. So let's wait for some time until the deployment completes. The deployment completed. Click on go to resource. Here we are in our target data factory which has a different name and region. So if you go to the whiteboard, we have changed the region and the name. Okay, this is done. We can launch our data factory, the newly created data factory. and go to the author tab and we can see here there are no pipelines no resources factory resources are absent because it's a freshly created data factory okay now our task now our job is is to clone everything from the factory resources of the source data factory adf cloud knowledge to the target for this purpose we have to go to the manage tab of the data factory let's click on manage and under manage section we have the source control tab here. Under source control, we have ARM template, resource manager template. Here it states that Azure resource manager template is a JavaScript object notation JSON file that defines the infrastructure and configuration for your project. ADF can be exported and updated as an ARM template artifact. So here we have two buttons. First is to import and the other one is to export. In our case, we have to export this ADF cloud knowledge. So we'll use this export ARM template, export your data factory as an ARM template option. So we'll click on export here in the source and this template will be exported. We'll go to the target and there we will import. Okay, you understood this? From the source we have to export and in the target we have to import. So we'll click on export. Export ARM template is starting. So the export operation completed and we could see here that the arm template dot zip file is created. So we'll open this arm template. When we open here, we could see here two folders, factory link templates and arm template for factory. That is the data factory and for the parameters. We will open the template for the data factory, the JSON file. Let's open it. We could see here the entire data factory related details. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll just control A, control C. We'll copy this template, arm um, template JSON and we'll copy and we'll go, go to the target data factory. Here we are ADF CK test clone and in the data factory we are present where there are no resources. We'll go to the manage section here. And in the manage section, we'll go to the same source control arm template and we'll use the option import. Update your ADF environment by importing an arm template. So we'll click on import. It will open up a new page in the browser. Page loaded, which will show us deploy from a custom template. Select the template, then other settings. Now here we have to build our own template in the editor. So we'll click on this first option, build your own template. Just click on it. And here we have to go to the resources. Inside the resources, we'll just do control A to delete the content and control V. Okay. So that we have pasted the entire content of the template for the data factory of the source data factory here. It's done. Okay, there are no errors. We will now click on save. When we click on save, it will show up this custom deployment page where we have to select the different details. So we'll select here the resource group in which our target data factory exists. Now we will change the data factory name to ADF CK test clone. Here we will give the factory name of the 
target data factory then here comes the different details of the account key etc the connection or the link services which require to be filled during the custom deployment so since this is for test purpose we'll just write test values here okay when you're doing the actual deployment write the actual values for the different link services keys etc and then we'll click on next we'll click on next okay this looks fine we'll click on create deployment succeeded and now we can go to the data factory here ADF CK test clone and to the author section and click on refresh After refresh, we can see here 59 pipelines, 104 data sets, data flows, etc. Here, a few of the data flows and the pipelines are showing with this resource reference could not be loaded because we have not given the actual keys or the values during the custom deployment for the password, etc. So, upon giving the correct values, we'll get these all sorted. So this is how we can clone entire data factory to a new data factory by giving a new name to it or changing the region. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've understood the cloning of data factory. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.